Whether or not we're consciously aware of it, a lot of our energy during the wedding planning process is centered around fear that things will go wrong and how we can avoid and prevent minor mistakes and major disasters on our wedding day. I've been deeply involved with weddings for over a decade, and I'm sorry to share that it's a universal truth. No matter how much you plan and prep and delegate and assign, something is bound to go wrong and or not according to plan at some point during your wedding celebration. The good news is that big or small, I have some solid practices that you can use right now today to be able to adapt, improvise, and mentally overcome any unforeseen issues and challenges that are bound to arise. That's all coming up next on the Wedding Planning Podcast. Hey there, it's Kara, and the goal of our time here together on the Wedding Planning Podcast is pretty simple. I want you to have all the resources and the confidence to plan the wedding you want, minus the crushing stress, expense, and overwhelm that's felt by so many engaged couples. If you're newly engaged and looking to kick off the new year with a fresh start on your wedding plans, then you'll definitely want to check out my totally free engagement starter kit. I've packaged up a three-part bonus audio series that's designed to unlock the essential keys to a down-to-earth, stress-free, and joyful wedding planning experience. All you need to do for instant access right now is type this address into your web browser. It's allnew.wedding. Enter your name and email address and episode one of the Engagement Starter Kit bonus series will be on the way. That website one more time is allnew.wedding. Enjoy the show. Why, hello there and happy new year. Welcome to the Wedding Planning Podcast. It is a complete pleasure and a joy to have you here with me. And congratulations for my newly engaged friends. Welcome to the show. I can't wait to spend some time together over the next few months. In years, actually over a decade of working within the wedding industry and years of attending weddings, either as a guest or even as a member of the wedding party, I have personally come to what I believe to be a universal truth, a universal law of weddings, if you will. No matter how much thoughtful prep and planning goes into your event, something is bound to go unaccording to the plan. There's going to be some element that's going to fly off the rails, and I'm sorry to share that it's oftentimes something that you never even saw coming or never gave a second of thought to. Maybe you've experienced a nightmare vision of a big fat lipstick smear stain on the front of your wedding dress or crying your makeup off and then having raccoon eyes in all of your wedding pictures. Enter Tide Pens, Wedding Day Emergency Kits, and Waterproof Mascara. Check, check, and check. So there's small stuff and then there's really big stuff, right? And while I can't predict exactly what will not go according to the plan on your wedding day, I can share some major mishaps that I've experienced firsthand, along with a few stories from you of things that went anything but according to the plan. And even more important than that, later in today's show, we're going to explore some strategies for mentally preparing yourself for all these surprises. And I have some very specific action items that you can adopt so that you can go with the flow, be prepared to improvise, and mentally weather any storm that might brew in the weeks and the months leading up to your wedding, and of course, during your actual wedding celebration itself. To get started today, I'm going to share some examples of things that went terribly wrong over the course of a wedding, and they range from very annoying to really, really huge disaster. So to start, let's talk about an uninvited plus one who was a complete train wreck. So in this unfortunate situation, a guest shows up with a date who was not invited, The envelope was addressed to one person and one person only, not one person and guest. So not only do you not have a seat or a meal for them because they were not even in your head count, this person on top of that, 
This person is a class A gold medal winning hot mess. They are dressed completely inappropriately. They are drunk before the cocktail hour even ends and flailing around on the dance floor later that night, drinking straight from a bottle of red wine that is literally sloshing all over the place. P.S. Can someone please fire the bartender who was responsible for that move? This is a true story, folks. True story. So we can all agree that that is really annoying, right? But with the right mindset and obnoxious, uninvited guest, we can overcome that. So let's turn up the heat a little bit. Now let's turn. If you've ever rented a private property on Airbnb or VRBO that was sold or had unexpectedly changed hands, then you know the sinking feeling of seeing a cancellation notice in your inbox that you will not indeed be staying at the charming little property that you thought you were. So sadly, you have to adjust your vacation plans and instead of the cute little Spanish style bungalow that's within walking distance to the downtown area, now you need to book a last minute hotel with zero charm and twice the price tag. Huge bummer. But now... Imagine that that canceled Airbnb rental was your wedding venue, and now you have less than two months to find a new place to host your 50 closest friends and family for your whole wedding weekend of parties and festivities. That's a little bit harder to brush off. And here's another doozy. Imagine your photographer getting sick the day before your wedding and not having anyone to offer you as a backup. Nobody, none of us would want to be in those shoes. That's a huge unforeseen disaster. So we've all heard horror stories of weddings gone wrong, and I'm willing to bet that you've been a firsthand witness to multiple unforeseen mishaps, both big and small. They say that hindsight is 2020, and in hindsight, we would have done a million things, right? I would have quit serving hard liquor at 10 and switched to beer, wine, and water. I would have shopped around for a more affordable bakery. I would have rehearsed my vows a few more times. I would have gone pee one last time before the ceremony. Today's show is not meant to give you recurring wedding nightmares in the months to come, Rather, it's meant for us to face the fear and the actual likelihood of things coming up that we didn't plan for, and more importantly, being able to deal with them on the fly with grace and confidence. So on that note, coming up after a quick break, I have some solid strategies for coping with any minor mishaps and all major disasters that may strike. I'll be back in just a minute. Susan's Travel Services is so excited to partner with you to plan your honeymoon, destination wedding, or maybe even your bachelor or bachelorette party. Travel and new experiences are incredibly special to me personally, and earlier this year, Susan helped me plan an unforgettable bachelorette party for my sister Kate and five of our best friends. Her team meticulously researched the best all-inclusive options for us based on some very specific priorities, and we ended up at a luxurious resort in Los Cabos, Mexico, and needless to say, we had the time of our lives. Best of all, Susan has been in the business for 27 years, and let me tell you, she walks the walk. She personally travels to all of her recommended destinations all the time, so she has firsthand on-the-ground experience with all of the amazing resorts, excursions, and services that she recommends. From all-inclusive resorts in Mexico and the Caribbean, to overwater bungalows in the Maldives, or that African safari you've always dreamed of, save yourself hours of research and guesswork and let Susan and her team find you the best deals on this once-in-a-lifetime vacation. Reach out to Susan and her team today by emailing info at susanstravelservices.com and be sure to let her know that I sent you for $50 off your final booking or $100 off your destination wedding. That email again is info at susanstravelservices.com. 
Welcome to The Financial Gym, a nationwide female-led personal financial services company with a fitness-inspired approach. Certified financial trainers work with clients like you to teach financial literacy, how to be accountable for your money, and how to make smarter, more strategic decisions about your finances. Clients come to the financial gym for lots of reasons, but one of my personal favorites, and so simple yet so important, is creating mindfulness around spending. 71% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck, especially with rising inflation. How do we spend on what we love without feeling the stress of paying our bills? Another big one is juggling debt. I totally get it. A mountain of debt can feel like it's never going away. The financial gym has coached clients like you on how to intentionally chip away at that huge mountain and even become debt free. Go to financialgym.com slash wedding for more info and use code wedding to get 20% off your first year of membership. That's financialgym.com slash wedding to get 20% off your first year of membership with promo code wedding. I want to say a big thank you to today's supporting sponsor, Generation Tux. Coordinating suit and tuxedo looks for your wedding party can be really, really overwhelming. That's why Generation Tux makes it simple, fun, and convenient with online suit and tux rentals that allow you to do everything online from the comfort of your own home. Generation Tux specializes in online suit and tuxedo rentals with high quality men's formal wear rentals starting at just $99 and they feature award winning customer service. You'll find over 25 styles of suits and tuxedos available in a variety of colors and even thousands more accessory color combinations. You can try Generation Tux for yourself by visiting generationtux.com. Build your head-to-toe looks, get free color swatches, a free home try-on, and manage your entire wedding party online. That's G-E-N-E-R-A-T-I-O-N-T-U-X dot com. Hello again. Welcome back. And let's continue today's show with some actionable strategies for coping with unexpected mishaps, both big and small. The first strategy I have for you to embrace with wide open arms is, what's the backup plan? A backup plan can be a simple second thought that you give something. It doesn't need to be hashed out in great painstaking detail for every single wedding element, big and small. But as you're putting plans in place and marking things off your to-do list, ask yourself, what's our backup plan if my initial number one preferred plan falls through. For example, what if your cake bakery calls a week ahead and tells you that their scheduled weekly ingredient and supply delivery was canceled and they cannot have your cake done in time? What if your 200 custom place cards or custom table signs get lost in the mail and they can't be replaced? What if your photographer calls you the day before the wedding and they have the flu? I know the stress and overwhelm that comes along with planning an entire wedding from start to finish, and that can seem to multiply and get bigger and bigger as your wedding day approaches, but it doesn't have to be that way, and that's something that I try to center every single episode of this podcast around. For our conversation today, even just mentally acknowledging a backup option is really reassuring And that alone can close the gap between feeling totally unprepared and feeling 100% confident that you've got things under control, regardless of what happens. So try this strategy out on something that you're concerned about or something that you're busy planning right now. What if your dress doesn't fit in the two weeks before your wedding day? Could you head into a retail store and buy one off the rack? Could you order one online? Could you time all the things so that if you absolutely have to, you could squeeze in one last round of alterations? Maybe you could commit to buying a style that's adjustable and or very forgiving, regardless of a small swing in weight or being unexpectedly puffy on the day that you try it on for the last time. 
when we're fluid and flexible, there are so many different solutions. It's just when we get in the stress of that moment, it's hard to see them. So by practicing this now and getting in the habit of doing it earlier, just really setting yourself up for success. Another example with the cake bakery from a minute ago, if your bakery falls through last minute, could you set up a donut bar? Could you order five sheet cakes from Costco? Again, these probably aren't your number one options, obviously, because your number one option fell through, but they don't need to be fully hashed out secondary no matter what plans. That would mean double or triple your efforts over everything you have going on right now. I'm simply suggesting that by acknowledging that you do have options, that can be really reassuring as you're planning your way through the next few months. Okay, and our second strategy for coping with unexpected things that come up is really committing your mental energy to what's worth your attention and what is not. Pretty, pretty please trust me, the trashy plus one who wasn't invited in the first place and is behaving like a complete mess is not worth ruining your entire wedding day. Neither is a guest who showed up wearing a white-ish dress, an offhand champagne-fueled comment from your new mother-in-law, a rambling and embarrassing speech from the best man, or roses that turned out not to match the tablecloths. This is your wedding day and your focus needs to be 1000% on the love that you share with your new husband or wife and all of your guests and on your brand new exciting life that lies ahead. That's it. If that sounds easier said than done, then I'd invite you to take a few steps back and explore exactly what your priorities and your values are and how they fit in with the wedding that you're actually planning. This is something we focus on in great detail within my subscription-based digital wedding planning package, The Vault. When we fast forward past what's truly valuable and truly meaningful to us to get to the quote, good stuff, It's really, really easy to miss the deeper meaning within your wedding celebration, and it's really easy to miss all the opportunities you have to make this celebration an unforgettable point of connection between you and the people you love. At the end of the day, your wedding is not about the cake, the flowers, the venue, or the food that you serve. And if that's all you're focused on and all you want to be focused on, then I'll say right now with complete, although very tough love, that this is not the right wedding podcast for you. All right, and moving into our third strategy for dealing with the unexpected. Some things are within your control and some are not. Make a habit of noticing the difference and allocating your energy and your efforts to the things that you can control. You can control your own actions and even your reactions to others, but you cannot control the actions of others. So do yourself a favor and don't spend your precious emotional energy even trying to. Simple enough, right? Those are words I try my mighty best to live by every single day and I teach my children the same and it can make such a meaningful difference not only in your engagement season, but in your wedding celebration and far into life beyond your wedding. I hope you love today's show as much as I love sharing it with you. I believe fully in my heart that as long as you're focused on the things that truly matter, there's literally nothing that can go wrong and ruin your wedding celebration. It might not go entirely according to the plan. Heaven knows there were millions of couples over the past few years who experienced that, But the love and the connection and the shared joy is what truly matters. So keep your focus there and on nothing else. Thank you so much for sharing such a special time in your life with me. I am thinking of you and we'll meet right here again next week. Same time, same place. With an all new year ahead of us, I can't think of a better time to get a fresh start and completely clear perspective on your wedding day plans. 
That's why I've packaged up a three-part bonus audio series that's designed to unlock the essential keys to a down-to-earth, stress-free, and joyful wedding planning experience. For instant access to the Wedding Planning Podcast Engagement Starter Kit, simply head to allnew.wedding. Enter your name and email address and episode one of the Engagement Starter Kit bonus series will be on the way. That website again is A-L-L-N-E-W dot wedding. I can't wait to talk soon.